Next we'll add some anchor bolts. Anchor bolts are placed in the wet concrete as it starts to set up. And when everything's dry, they become a permanent part of your foundation. They hold the bottom plates to your house. To know for sure what the actual spacing of these bolts are, you would need to refer to your local codes. Please place two copies of this file. It's called two anchor bolts. One here, one about here, and press escape. If you're going to have siding on your house, your anchor bolts will be farther towards this edge. Our section view of our model shows us that if this house were to actually be built, it would have brick on this side. That brick needs to rest on part of the foundation wall, which means that our anchor bolts need to be over towards this side. It may be hard to see, but the anchor bolt holds down a piece of treated lumber or redwood, and then the floor beams attach to that piece of lumber. It's called a sill plate. And then above that, we build our exterior wall for the main floor. To constrain the anchor bolts, start by selecting this horizontal axis and select the top of the foundation wall. Let's drop that into the concrete minus seven inches. Next, select the vertical axis and this outside wall and let's set this to minus 5.25. Set the other vertical axis the same distance to make sure those are lined up. Minus 5.25. And last, let's center it from side to side. Click this vertical axis and this edge and enter minus 10. Over here we're going to have a porch that will be supported by these two foundation walls. A couple things will be going on in this wall. Half of the wall is going to support what we call the porch cap and there we will put rebar in this wall and then on this side we'll put more anchor bolts. So let's do just like we did before, constrain the horizontal axis to the top of the wall and drop it in seven inches. And then we'll use our vertical axis to center, minus three. We'll do both of the bolts like that. And then last, we'll center it the other direction, minus 10 inches. Click OK. Now place, here's some rebar. Place one copy of that. In actuality, the rebar is uh, can be bent after the fact, after it's dried in the wall. But for the purpose of our project, we will just insert it already bent. Go to Constraint. Do not choose the axis, choose the bottom of the piece of rebar to the top of the foundation wall. And just to make this easier, we will drop that in later. Click Apply, Vertical Axis to this side of the wall. This time we're going to push it over minus six inches and we'll do the same to the other side so it's lined up. And then we'll center it the other direction, minus 12 inches, and click OK. And then come down here to our porch rebar object, select the first mate, and enter minus 8 inches to drop that down in press enter. Now let's do the rebar on the other side. Porch rebar bent exterior side. Okay. 
and to center our rebar click the vertical axis click the inside of the wall and let's set this to minus three and while I'm here I'm going to center this minus 12 inches I need to remember to line up this other side as well minus three inches click OK we'll close in fact I can close all of these and just open up my last object that I inserted Select the first mate and drop it in, minus eight. Press enter and let's take a look. This is now ready for some additional rebar. Now we will add the floor. When pouring a foundation floor, First, gravel is put in all the way up to the top of the footings. This will support the concrete. Wire mesh is put on top of the gravel and then lifted up as the concrete is poured. This helps further reinforce the concrete. And then the concrete is poured and finished. Place the file called